On Saturday, the African Union launched a new fight, deploying 5,000 troops in an effort to capture Ugandan rebel leader Joseph Kony. Atlanta's WAGA explains the mission. Kony is wanted for war crimes and is accused of using children as soldiers. Ugandan troops will be leading the force and will be joined by soldiers from South Sudan, the Congo, and U.S. military advisors. An official for the AU Counterterrorism Corporation said the mission is to, quote, stop Mr. Kony from bringing more suffering to the people in the affected areas. Kony's notoriety skyrocketed after a viral video campaign gained momentum a few weeks ago. Euronews explains how the YouTube sensation helped spur action. The video produced by U.S.-based charity Invisible Children has been viewed more than 100 million times. The U.N. says it's been very important in creating awareness. In 2005, Kony was indicted by the International Criminal Court for crimes including enforced sexual slavery, and murder. The Wall Street Journal outlines the reason for the increased attention and desire to capture Kony and his army. He fled to Congo and later the Central African Republic. Since 2008, his fighters have killed 2,600 civilians, abducted some 4,000 people, mainly children, and displaced more than 400,000. The U.S.'s role in the mission is to provide support through equipment, military advice, training, and intelligence on rebel movement. CNN explains how this effort isn't the first of its kind to capture or kill Kony and his fighters. In October, the United States sent 100 combat-equipped troops on a mission to kill or capture Kony. The rebel group terrorized Uganda for years in a failed attempt to overthrow the government. But since 2006, when it was pushed out of northern Uganda, it has largely operated in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Central African Republic. Kony and his Lord's Resistance Army fighters have operated in Central Africa for 20 years, but because of their ability to cross national borders, they've been able to escape forces trying to capture them. AllAfrica.com explains what makes this multinational mission more likely to succeed. The regional task force headquarters will be located in South Sudanese town of Yang Bio, close to the border with the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Four countries are represented in the Joint Coordination Operations Center and have agreed on free movement of troops across borders to pursue the Lord's Resistance Army. Kony is reportedly hiding in the Central African Republic. I'm Victoria Craig for Newsy. Multiple sources, the real story.